terms of complexity, let's talk about the health care overhaul. The House <laughs> is expected to vote on the Republicans' health care plan this week. The right. question is, do the Republicans have the votes to get it passed? White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer was pressed on that issue during yesterday's <laughs> briefing. Listen to this. Once we get 216, we'll stop counting. And uh, I think the speaker, speaker gets that. But as I mentioned to Trey, I mean, we're getting closer and closer every day. So I would assume that today we were closer than we were a week ago. Um, but we're not there yet. Uh, and that, that decision is going to be wholly within uh, the speaker, the majority leader, and the whip to, to, to let us know when they're going to open that vote up. Congresswoman, will you yeah. vote yes on the health care bill? Uh, I'm leaning yes, and I'll give you a couple of reasons why. Uh, from New York, we have the largest expansion state. Many of the things that are being debated, whether it's the essential plan or pre existing conditions or uh, the community rating, meaning what an insurance company can charge, all of those are built into New York state law. So there's not a lot we can do on the federal level other than some of the good things that are in the president's bill and the, and the House bill, which is to roll back the taxes. Uh, we are going to be able to finally repeal the individual and the employer mandate. That's going to help our small business community, uh, our, sm our individuals that are forced to pay really high uh, deductibles and really have health care, but they can't afford to go to the doctor. And those are the middle class is really who is being hurt the most in this. And so supporting what we have, at least getting something started, we have to repeal and replace Obamacare, but I, we really need to get the process started. I know they're hemming and hawing over a couple of issues. I don't know who it is now, whether it's the Tuesday group or the Freedom Caucus, but I hope we get something accomplished. It really, we really need to have a win on that because it's our small business community, particularly Amen. in states like New York, that are really in need of the assistance. Amen to that, Congresswoman. Thank you. And on that, it, on that issue, <laughs> coming, I'm being the daughter of small business owners who I've said this repeatedly, always kind of got overlooked and, well. I, was, I could use an expletive, but overlooked by politicians in terms of how they're treated. But I want to ask you about the tax reform plan. Right. Maria Bartiromo, was, she interviewed Steve Mnuchin on the issue of deductions, especially right. when it comes to states. Take a listen to this, and then I'll get your take. Okay. Congressman from New York, Florida. You know, New Jersey, et cetera, they are not liking the fact that you're talking about eliminating the deduction on state and, and, and uh, state income, as well as, um, um, you know, uh, property income taxes. The special deductions and all these things are really for rich people, and we're going to cut a lot of that back. And as it relates to the states, we don't think that the federal government should be in the business of subsidizing the states. The states should be able to decide what they want to charge in income taxes. Congresswoman, based on what you've heard out of the Trump administration, if they got rid of the state tax deduction, that hurts your constituents because we're in such a high tax state in New York. But if they change the way that small businesses are taxed and you get a 15 percent rate, would that mm -hmm. make you vote for it? The, it is better, and I also am a small business owner. I feel, fit right in the gap. We have between 50 and 100 employees. We're forced into the Obamacare mandate. We have the highest taxes on, on so many levels in New York, high energy costs. So on the tax issue, uh, I, we do uh, have high taxes and the deduction, as he calls them, rich people. Well, for a long time, rich people were people who made, and millionaires were people who made 250000 or more in New York. So we finally actually moved that classification to where it should be as millionaires. But uh, they have doubled the standard deduction. They are lowering the tax rate. We're keeping the charitable deduction. Uh, there is also the mortgage interest deduction is still maintaining, uh, is, being, is still being kept. So that could be a help, especially with pass-through small businesses like many are, most are actually now today. So it, it's possible that this could actually be a win for small business owners, but the tax rate has to come down significantly, and we have to change the way that we are, are burdening small business owners because they create the majority of the new jobs. So uh, when you're talking about business owners, and I know Mnuchin used the word rich, uh, but you know many of the small business owners are, are bearing the burden of all these taxes and all these regulations. And I know in an earlier interview, he described regulations as a huge problem. That is a huge problem, mm -hmm. along with access to capital, all those terrible things that are in Dodd-Frank that we're going to be marking up today, the uh, Jeb Henselings Choice Act, which I'm hoping we're going to get through and, and get passed uh, in committee today. So look forward to that happening as well. Regulations have to go, lower taxes, all those things are going to help our small business community. I think a 15 percent rate on pass-through entities, which would be with the same rate that they mm -hmm. want for big corporations.
decorations, that looks awfully attractive. Yes, it's, it's, it does. It's better. definitely, absolutely, especially in New York, where every right. other tax is higher than most rest of the country. These are the small so. business owners, even in New York City, who would quietly tell me that they voted for President Trump. <laughs> they don't say <laughs> because they know because that's what they want, and at least yeah. they have a pl the plan out to do that. Congresswoman, it was great Thank to see you. Thank you so much, Congresswoman Thanks, Thank you, Dagan. Yeah, be well. Come back soon.